Um, I think that he's using his talents daily. I think that with every rep, he's using his quickness. He's using his size and length. Uh, he's showing his explosiveness. Um, and I think that comes from his conditioning and his experience in the offense. Coach Kelly stays a lot stronger than he was. I know you haven't been here for his entire career, but have you seen that? I have. It starts in the weight room. I know those numbers are different this year, this spring, than they were last spring. Uh, and then he's also applying those numbers. So he's stronger in the bench press, and he's stronger at the line of scrimmage, pushing guys off uh, and creating separation. Very bright kid, too. Yes, very. It's tough. You know, you had some guys that were ahead of him. You know, that experience is what you try to use going into a season. Uh, he showed his talents, you know, early in camp. Um, sometimes it's hard to sustain uh, the drive and the grit that, uh, to get to the end of the season. Uh, he was able to kind of self-evaluate, uh, take a good look in the mirror and say, you know what, I have more. You know, I'm capable of doing this. And he was able in the second half of the season to push again and to find opportunities. Talking to him after the Citrus Bowl, has he kind of explained his touchdown like you would think a junior or senior would? How he, does he have a natural football instinct up there? He does. He does. He's out doing great things for us uh, here in the spring ball. And uh, he, he has corrected himself on a number of things, you know, and he takes the coaching. Um, you know, I think when he first came in, though, he thought it was, you know, it, it's not about me in a selfish way, but I have to control me. And he wasn't as open to coaching. He didn't see things as clearly. Uh, and as time went on and as he became more and more eager to play, he started to listen a little more, and that helped him see a little bit more. And that kind of freed his game up where he was able to make more plays. So he seemed like they might be fairly quick, too, when we watched the yeah, one drills. Absolutely. He's showing his quickness, and he's definitely got deep speed. Uh, Chase similar to Miles and all receivers. It's about the daily commitment to the fundamentals. Um, uh, there is, you know, there's a little separation there that we talk about. You know, if I were to go to Canada and try to line up and play football there, I wouldn't know what going in motion means. I wouldn't know how wide the field is, how long, hey, why is this up right here in the middle of the end zone? So we're trying to work through some of the barriers. And, and, and before we get to that, we're just talking about, you know, one day at a time and the fundamentals and the quick feet uh, and using the techniques that we're teaching and, and adjusting to what you're seeing in front of you. How, I mean, if he puts it all together and is totally focused, I mean, how high is his ceiling? It's through the roof. It's, uh, it's unlimited, and, and it's my job daily. Uh, I've mentioned it before, you know, that, that Chase, uh, you know, is, is an angry and physical blocker. He's an emotional player, and so we have to kind of channel that emotion into, hey, take this right step here. And he's like, you know, I just want to make the big play. Uh, but even with his size, speed, and strength, it is difficult for him to free himself up if you're playing against an All-American cornerback. Uh, you're playing against a guy that's been playing for four years and really understands where you're aligned and anticipating what you're doing. So we really need to focus on Chase and his football IQ uh, so that he could use his talents. It's been good. Uh, you know, I've got a, a one group and a two group. That could be probably four to five guys in each group. So the fourth guy can probably roll in at, at either, you know, a couple of spots. Uh, he's in that. He's in in both groups, you know. So he can roll in with the first or the second group. Uh, his progress has been good. He's made some plays. You know, it's been some opportunities that he's missed. Um, but like most guys, you know, I think he's got a different determination because he's going into year three, and he wants that opportunity for his family to see him play.